Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be making a custom spread for one of my patrons over on Patreon. This one is for Danielle. I am going to be making her a birthday spread because her birthday is the week of May 2nd to the 8th. So happy early birthday, Danielle. I really hope you enjoy watching this plan with me and thank you so much for being a patron again. Um, I really, really appreciate all the support and I'm excited to make this spread for you. So she requested, like I said, a birthday spread, but she also requested it to be a stick girl spread. I know she likes a lot of like color and um, for it to be like full. So I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do that for her. So I have this stick babe essential sticker book. Uh, this one has a lot of actually cute birthday related stickers in here. So I have some to pull from here, actually a, a few options to pull from here, which is nice. So I have these, but I also did print out some stickers on my Cricut because I wanted some like birthday banners. Um, I like these little speech bubbles because I want them to like say something. So I printed those out, I printed out some little cakes. I'm not sure if I'm going to use those, but I did print out some stuff from my Cricut. So excited about this spread. I'm thinking of doing like a little scene on the bottom and then just having like a bunch of stuff like all around the, the spread. We're trying to make it functional. She did request a box for one day. Obviously her birthday also. I want to make sure that day stands out. That is on the 7th and she needs a box on the 6th and just bullet points and just functional all this stuff too. All right. So my wax paper. I'm gonna grab these little banners that I made with the Cricut. I changed the colors too, because I wanted it to be, I like that color scheme. It was similar in color, but I changed the colors a little bit. Okay. I printed out two different sizes too, because I wasn't sure. I think the smaller ones, I never know what size to make this stuff. So I kind of have to eyeball it sometimes. But I kind of want, I don't know if I should put like a layer overlapping. I don't know. I might just do these two because that's a good size. Um, ooh, let me do the fun part actually first, which is putting the girls together. Okay, another piece of wax paper. Now I have these little speech bubbles and I made sure to flip them because one of the things that Whenever they have these kind of stickers in the Happy Planners books, they always have like these pointing the same way. Um, sometimes I want them the other way. So that's one of the nice things that you can do yourself with these when you make your own stickers. What's a Cricut? More custom, you can customize them more. And I, um, this is actually a colored background, but I, uh, I made it white and then I, uh, change the outline color to a color because it was black so yeah a lot of customization so for sure i'm gonna do this this is party i have this girl with the balloon i'm just gonna grab all the girls that'll work for a birthday spread of course this one with the party hat and the presents I have to put her this one with the cake. Um, I feel like that girl with the ice cream could work. Let's see what else I have in here. I could put the dog. The dog is cute. Okay, got a little doggy. I know she has a dog. So. Um, Oh, this is cute. It does say happy. I'm gonna grab her. I don't know if I'm gonna, or I'm gonna grab this one just in case. I mean, this one could work too. Okay, there you go. One, two, three. Okay, I think that's enough girls, actually. Okay, 
So I'm gonna try to figure out how I'm going to arrange these girls. I'm gonna do them on the bottom. Use this one. Trying to figure out the best way to layer these. Do that one. I want them to say happy birthday to you. So I need four, two of these on this side and then two over here on this side of the page. That's my plan. Okay, possibly like that. Possibly. <laughs> and then I feel like I should put a background. Oh, I think I know a good one. I'll use this one. So I can still see them through it. So I got that from this pack of paper from Joanne. This is from the Park Lane collection. So I think I'm gonna use this. Maybe I'll use this one's cute too. Maybe I'll use a washi on the bottom. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Alright, so I'm gonna cut this out to fit in these sections. All right, so I added it to the back. It's very subtle. That's why I like it, because again, I can see the stickers when I put them on top because they are clear. So it's nice to have like a little background, but it's not gonna like mess up the stickers when I put them on top of it. And then I'm gonna take this scalloped washi and add it to the bottom. I think it's cute. It's fun. Probably put this on the top too. Oops. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna add this to the top and bottom. Okay, so on the top and bottom, and then I think I'm gonna add, let's see how this is gonna look. Oh yeah, it's gonna be cute. It's like a fun pop. Okay. I'm gonna move on to the this part though first, because I wanna try to get this down. Make sure everything fits the way I want it to. So I'm going to put these girls here on the bottom. And then I'll fill in the bubbles later. This here. Okay, I have this bubble. Maybe if I put this oops, this a little bit crooked. Okay. Kind of put the dog here. Just to fill in this spot a little bit. Okay, so we got happy birthday. 
next girl. This one. The balloons. Oop. Actually. It should be this way. I feel like I need something to fill in these spots because I don't like this space. Oh, I know. The cakes. The cakes. Okay. These cakes. I made two because I wasn't sure on the sizing. The cake. And then just one more thing for that. I think I might have like a plant or something in this book. A cat. There is a cat. But I think I might want to add a plant. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's cute. All right, and then I'm gonna get an alphabet sticker book and put happy birthday to you in here. Um, cool. So I plan on using probably these and then I'm done with the stickers that I printed from Cricut. I'm done with the, well, the stick girls. All right, and I just need to get some boxes, which I'm sure I have. Like some boxes from Jojo that I can pull. Alright, so I got some. I feel like this yellow is pretty close to that yellow. So I'm gonna add. Oh, this is the Rainbow Boxes sticker book. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna put. Oops, I grabbed the wrong yellow. I grabbed the lighter yellow. Um, the dark yellow. Make a nice pop of color over here. On this side. I'll find a sticker for here. Okay. These banners. I'm trying to think of how I want to use these. Well, maybe I could do the banners coming this way. page. So that way it's not taking up as much room. I do have one more piece. Maybe this one should just go across it. banners down. Cool. All right, now I'm going to grab, so her birthday's on the 7th. I do want a yellow box over here, so I'm going to grab this yellow. I'm going to grab, let's 
see. She needs a box on the 6, too. So I'm going to try to find another box that I can use. This pink isn't bad. I mean, it's not the right pink. Let me see, actually. The other books that I have. Yeah, I'm not going to have that pink that I used. Oh. No. Huh. I'm not using this one. No. Lighter? I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to go with the lighter pink because it kind of matches that pink. So I'm going to put this box here for the six. I'm going to put a box here for her birthday. Cute. And then I'm going to grab another box. Let's stick over here. I want more of a blue color. That blue is kind of like this blue. So that's what I'll use. The box here and let me get one over here. Okay, cute. All right, so I'm gonna probably I'm gonna put down some bullet points too. I might have bullet points that go with this stuff. And then I do need to get the stickers for here. And I want to add some decorative stuff too. Okay, found some options in some books. I have fun alphabets, which I don't think I've used this book before. It has some like fun, different type of fonts in here. So I'm going to use, I'm going with like colorful, these rainbow ones. And I was worried about birthday because... I really had to squish it, but um, I already mapped it out a little bit to make sure birthday fits in there. So I'm just going to put these in here. Hopefully this stays together. Yeah. So that way I can just put this down in here. Like that. I'm going to put happy and then to you over here. All right, so I got all of the letters down on this spread. Happy birthday to you, cute. And then I went into an older mega sticker book, this rainbow one, and I found this sticker that kind of reminds me of the lettering. So it says, don't give up what you want most for what you want now. So I'm just gonna stick this here because I just like the colors and the pattern. Just to fill in that spot. All right, cool. And then, I think I'm, okay, I was also looking at this Happy in Action sticker book. It's another, like, rainbowy kind of book. I think this was a teacher sticker book. These are kind of cute. These little, like, I don't know if I'll add those. Um, let me see what else is in here. I want a quote. It's cute. It says live a happy life. I did also find some bullet points I can use. 
Um, I think this is from a mega sticker book, but it's got a lot of like colors that I can use for this spread. So I think they go. Um, maybe not. <laughs> Let me see this color. like that. Um, I'm just going to throw some of these greenish ones on the page. And I feel like I should put some over here. Okay, I was looking through this right sticker book and I found this sticker book sticker that says current mood happy. I'm gonna put that here. Actually, let me white out this line. Okay, and then I think I might put while well, I let that dry, I might put some of these headers. These like little today headers. That's cute. Don't think there's anything else I can add from here. You know, I think I'm gonna leave it like this. It's super cute. All right, I don't need to punch any holes. It's good. Just gonna cut off a little bit from here, and that should be it. Okay, so that is gonna be the birthday spread for Danielle. Danielle, I hope you enjoyed watching this plan with me. I had a lot of fun making this spread for you. And I hope you all enjoyed watching this plan with me as well. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you all in the next one.